next couple of days. So there's a calm before a storm. There's also going to be a calm right after the storm. But there is this storm we have to get through. Yeah, and it's a massive spring storm because it's bringing blizzard conditions in the upper Midwest and obviously severe weather tonight across parts of the middle of the country. And I'll show you that here in just a moment. Our turn comes tomorrow night, probably around this time. We'll be dealing with some severe weather warnings around the area. The key here is just make sure you have a way to get those warnings, you know, and a little bit of a silver lining. At least it doesn't appear as if it's going to come, you know, per se, quote, in the middle of the night. And by that, I mean, 2, 3, 4 a.m. It looks like it comes mid to late evening tomorrow through the early part of the overnight. So between 9 and 2 a.m. is really the window we're keeping a close eye on. There will be storms throughout the day tomorrow, at least some off and on downpours. I don't expect for them to be severe, but some of them could contain a little bit of hail and thunder and lightning, and it will be a windy day even without the severe weather threat until we get into the evening. But when we get into this window, damaging winds and the potential for some brief spin up tornadoes, very similar to what we use. We're pretty, it's pretty common around here. We get those small spin up tornadoes that can happen very quickly. I think with this type of line moving in tomorrow, that is a real concern and threat likely for us around here. So the greater severe weather threat will actually be out to our west tomorrow across parts of Indiana, Western Kentucky, of course, the Mayfield area where they don't need it back down into Western Tennessee and parts of Mississippi. We will be on the eastern fringe of this severe weather event right now in a slight risk with an enhanced risk in Brown here nosing into southeast Indiana. It's possible we could see the enhanced risk actually pushed a little farther east, but at this point it's not really going to make much of a big difference because the threats are the same. Here's what we have coming together. We have a strong cold front. These are the necessary ingredients for severe weather. You need a strong cold front. You need something to get the air rising. The air will have plenty of spin potential to it because wind shear tomorrow will be very high. As is often the case here, and this has been our saving grace, and this is the real reason why we don't get in on more bigger, larger, more impactful severe weather events just because we don't have enough instability. The air has to want to rise on its own, and a lot of times we don't have that. That's our saving grace again tomorrow, but I still think there's enough that when storms get here, we'll have enough for those storms to tap that wind shear, and in result, a few storms could spin in the line. Let me show you future cast. Take you through the night, it's quiet. Tomorrow morning, rain showers move in. We'll have downpours off and on through the day. Here's 1230, I know there's a 1235 game, I think they'll get the game in, but I can't say they'll complete it as I suspect there will be waves of downpours throughout the day tomorrow. But this is actually a good thing for us because more rain keeps the atmosphere stable. I still think there's a window tomorrow evening, though, after about five where the rain shuts off and that allows us to get unstable just enough for this incoming line of storms tomorrow evening and embedded within this line because wind shear is so high, there will probably be a few areas with rotation and then notice by 2 a.m. the threat is over and things are starting to get quiet. Radar tonight is quiet around here, but let me show you the expansive storm system here because there you go. Look at all these warnings tonight from Minnesota back through Kansas. And then look at all the tornado warnings ongoing tonight down across parts of Louisiana. Obviously, this is where the worst of it will be. But again, this is going to be a pretty large event that takes place tomorrow. It's mild tonight, 63 outside. Our temperatures aren't going to fall much tonight. Everyone's in the low to mid 60s right now. We may slip another couple of degrees, but overall it's going to stay pretty mild tonight. And by morning, we're still in the low 60s. It's breezy. The winds will begin to ramp up too tonight. Tomorrow we could have 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts that have nothing to do with severe weather or storms. So off and on downpours windy with that nighttime severe threat. Here's a look at your day planner again off and on rain throughout the better part of the day. All right, here's your seven day forecast. There you go. Quieter weather, at least into Easter weekend for us. It does cool off some 60s on Saturday and then maybe only in the mid 50s. It looks like right now on Easter Sunday. Kevin, thank you. The Reds step into their home schedule by stepping into controversy.